someone something that costs money that you can't actually afford to give them what kind of promises do you make about your finances do you have a bank account do you pay your taxes if you make money yeah let's score ourselves on a scale of one to ten there career business how close to our career goals are we how much time do we have before we need to start certain things or need to move on to certain things. How are we doing with career and business? Did you study the degree that you really wanted to study or do you have to go back to school to get what you need to do there? So, so if you're still um, independent. Do you have the right principles? If, if you were to get $100,000 today, do you have the principles that would maintain that money and do something with it? Or would you go spend it on clothes and your girlfriend or whatever? <laughs> Do you have the principles? Do you have the skills? You know what to do with the $100,000 What do you do to help others? And I don't mean like, okay, I clean my room because my mom makes space. You know, like in the community that you live in, or in the community that you work in, or that you interact with people, what are you doing socially to help other people? Okay? Rest and restoration. Remember when I talked about effectively handling your time? Do you actually spend time resting? Do you have time where you can just chill, your mind isn't working at like, I don't know, 120? I personally went through a period where I had to take sleeping pills because my mind was continuously moving all the time and I wasn't resting enough. And it sucks, okay? Sleeping pills are not fun <laughs> at all. And you don't want to get to the point where you need to force yourself to rest, okay? You need to take time to restore your mind, restore your body in a relaxing way. When was the last time you went out for lunch? When was the last time you got a manicure? When was the last time you slept in on a Saturday? Okay, this all goes into rest and restoration. And then the final one, sometimes it's hard to define. Spiritually, your inner self, how is your inner self doing? If you're a church going person and you believe you should be, are you going? If you believe that meditation is the way to go, are you spending time meditating? <coughs> Do you pray? Do you fellowship with other people who believe the same things you believe? How is your spiritual life doing? Okay, so I'm going to give you, and I really do, I don't want you guys to just like tick, 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 or whatever. I'm going to give you the next five minutes to like genuinely look at these things. I really do want you guys to be introspective, okay? It's not just for the sake of time, it's really just whatever. Think about it. Think of the people that you haven't spoken to in the past five years. That best friend that you haven't seen in a while, okay? <laughs> look at the areas of your life and assess yourself. I'm giving you five minutes to do that, and then we'll move on. balance living people at this present time? 
do we feel that we are all, even if it's <coughs> all around eight, is there anyone who's got all around even numbers? Okay, so we all have areas that we need to fix. I'll show you mine in a bit. I've also got it. I had a very <laughs> lopsided circle. And sometimes it fluctuates, yeah? Sometimes your spiritual life will be on point and your physical health is not quite that great, yeah? And sometimes it switches. Sometimes it'll be the other way around. You'll feel fine, but then your intellect might be lacking at the time for what you need to do. So you need to continue to assess yourself, but you always need to know where you are as opposed to where you want to be, okay? So let's turn over to the next page. This is where it gets fun. You now need to ask yourself, according to the things that you thought about and the numbers that you marked down on your wheel of life, what do I need to stop doing so that my number increases? What do I need to start doing so that my numbers increase? What can I do more of? Sometimes, I'm not saying that we're complete failures, no. I'm saying sometimes we have an idea, we just need to increase the amount of stuff that we do, okay? So if we, if we call our mom every week, that's great, okay? But who else can we also talk to? Or who else can we connect with? Or maybe we read novels. What else can I read, okay? What more can I do? It's not necessarily that I'm not doing anything, but maybe I need to increase the amount of that thing that I'm doing, okay? So you also need to ask yourself, what more can I do of? And what can I do less of? Okay, fine, eating donuts isn't necessarily going to kill me, but maybe I can eat less donuts, okay? For my physical health to be where I need it to be, I can eat less donuts and I can eat more vegetables. Okay, that's an example of the things that you now need to look at. So we're gonna do this up until, up until the 10.30 break, because it's something that you need to really consider, okay? You have all eight areas of your life to look at, and you've got limited space there, but you can even extend into your notebooks or whatever other pieces of paper you have, or you can use the back page of your book, okay? There's all that blank space there that you can use. And then there's also space for it. Okay, not in this one. So you can use this space as well. If you have any extra habits that you want to look at, that you want to include, you can use that space. But I'd like you all to now look at this part of the book. We're now on page four, okay? Look at what you need to stop doing in every area of your life. Remember, we're looking at a balanced life present, okay? So you need to look at every area. What do I need to stop doing? What do I need to start doing? What do I need to do more of? What can I do less of? Those are the four questions you need to answer in every area of your life. So, I think I need to make this more fun. Can I ask you to get into those groups again? And you can choose one or two areas of your life to discuss openly. So choose carefully what you have to share with them. I won't choose you. Okay. But <laughs> choose what you're going to share. Um, the three that came a little, the four that came a little bit later, you guys create a group there. Okay. And you guys just become a group. So now it's time to share and reflect. And we talked about application and like interacting with and associating with like minds. This is the time to do that. I need you to get into those groups again. And remember, you have 15 minutes. So don't get too distracted, but discuss two areas of your life and talk about the stop, start, more, less, okay? I will walk around and I'll talk with you guys and see what you guys want. A ton of allergies, and I know what my allergies are, but I like things. So as soon as I shouldn't, I'm not supposed to eat um, potatoes, I'm not supposed to eat coconut, I'm not supposed to spend a lot of time in like grassy areas, especially if I just cut the grass thing because I know that it'll affect me. Um, but I work at, I work with camps, so I'm always outside and I'm always in the grass. So I can't stop that. But I can stop eating tennis biscuits because they have coconut in them. I can stop eating Romani creams. Breaks my heart, but I shouldn't eat them because I'm allergic to the cotton. Okay, so that would be something that I have to stop doing. Because when I eat these things, I have to take my medication, I take my medication, I'm tired, and the list goes on and on, okay? So you find something that you can stop doing. What can I start doing? There are certain things that we're still not very sure if I'm allergic to, so I need to start diarizing what I eat. So I ate two biscuits at break time, I write that down. 
Um, there are apps that can help me do this, so it's not like a very hard thing to do. And so diarizing the clues that I eat again, because okay, I used to do it, but I stopped. So I need to start doing it again. Another thing I can do more of is increase the amount of water that I drink. Okay, I think that everyone, everyone can probably do this. I never drink eight glasses a day. Okay, I try, but it gets hard towards the fourth glass, and I'm just like, okay, I'm done. I don't want any more water, but um, that is something that you can do. These are just examples from my own personal view. Okay, um, so I need to up the intake of water. I didn't bring my bottle with me today, so I'm down like a liter. Because I usually like to do a liter every day. So, okay, so more water. I love bar one chocolate bars for days. Okay, I will not stop eating them because it's not affecting my life. But I will eat less. I will definitely try to eat less chocolate. Okay, and there are times when I don't have time to eat a proper meal. So the next time my child, like I will eat unnecessary amounts of food. Okay, so that's something I can do less of. I don't need to binge. And I don't need to eat so much chocolate, okay? So it's less, not more, or whatever, but I will eat, I won't stop, but I will eat less chocolate, mm -hmm. okay? And then for rest and restoration, um, I was walking around and I heard a lot of people talk about social responsibility and like the family connections and stuff, but I'll just look at rest and restoration. I need to start sleeping earlier. I have a lot of things that I want to do at night, and obviously you want to do everything while you're still young and energetic, but you still need to sleep, okay? I sleep any time between 11 and 3, okay? And then, like I said, I wake up at 6.30 in the morning. So sometimes that is not enough sleep for me. So I need to start sleeping earlier. Once you have a good sleeping pattern, it actually strengthens your body as well. So it's helping the physical health, but it's definitely part of rest and restoration, okay? And then more, I don't get out very much. I have a lot of friends and I love people dearly. But I don't see them very often. Like every time I see people, like, in Agro, how have you been? And I'm just like, okay, fine. I need to definitely see my friends more often. And while it's also part of the family and relationships, it's a part of me restoring myself because I need human interaction. I love being by myself, but it's not super healthy. So to get out there with my friends, go to parties, go to dinner, <coughs> do karaoke, whatever it is, this is. This is something that I need to do more of. I need to do more of getting out there with my friends. Okay? So I'm somewhere over there and I'm just catching up with everyone in the groups and stuff. So feel free to get through that first section of, of the thing. We're not yet on the best improvement ideas. I'll explain that just now. We're still here. So feel free to continue on that. I'll give you a few more minutes to do that. And then we'll move on to the next step. So it's the same thing. We're still on the destination. How do I get to where I want to go? We need to start building the right habits. So that's where we are, okay? Continue with that. As you can put down on the best improvement idea. Still on page four. We're still on page four. But you're now on the other side of page four. Where it says the best improvement idea. Okay, so for spiritual, the one example under each one, please don't just follow the examples. I know some of them sound really good, but what will work for you in your life right now, okay? What will work for you? If you need to start reading more scripture, that's fine, do that. But if you don't, there's no pressure, okay? You can do something else. So I need you to find the best improvement ideas. So if you were to look at the stop, look at the start, look at the more, look at the less, which of those four might increase your um, your success rate in that area, okay? Of the four things, if it's the stopping that is most helpful to you right now, great. Find an idea, find an action that you can put down according to the stop idea, okay? If it's something that you need to do less of that is the easiest to get to, but something that you can achieve, put that up. Okay, we're not trying to set you up for failure. So if you say financial wealth, okay, and then I don't know, you say, start a spending plan when you don't have money. What are you spending? You won't achieve anything. There's nothing to tick off at the end of the day because we don't have the finance to do that, okay? So find things that you can actually, you can actually apply in your life present day so that you can succeed moving forward, okay? So I'm gonna give you a bit of time for that. This shouldn't take as long because you already have the ideas here. I know that not everyone has filled in everything here, that's fine but then at least try and find one or two because as we move forward, it's all connected and I need you to have something that you can work on as we go through the day, okay? So I need you to find a specific action, best improvement idea, 
for as many areas as you can in the next few minutes, and I'll just let you know when we Okay? <coughs> For the family and relationship uh, part, I want to read the Bible to my kids daily. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Yes, Camilla. <coughs> um, for physical health, I am planning to, to eat a fruit in the morning and also to, to read a new or find out like research about how I can uh, better take care of my body. Nice. Something new that I don't know. Very nice. Okay. Can I have all the tigers stand up please? Tigers. Okay, I want you guys to share. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a tiger. You don't know, I'd also chosen tigers, so I like that. Okay. Yes, share something with them. Physical health, I've chosen to exercise, maybe jog, go for a jog daily for 30 to an hour. Yeah. Long <laughs> jog. Awesome, okay, cool. Yes. Uh, for me, uh, I'd like to eat more. I don't eat Cool, okay. But do you see them every day? What? Do you see them every day? Yeah, I think every day when I'm going to be loud. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a great one. Okay, thank you, Chris. You can sit down. Okay, awesome. So can I have all my all my birds then? If you're a bird, you can use Take up a uh, one hour yoga session a day to improve on my meditation. <laughs> <laughs> that is interesting. Awesome. Okay, thank you very much. You guys can sit down. Okay, that's okay. okay, so now I'm going to read to you what it says on your pieces of paper. Okay, it says, always set yourself up for success by starting with only one new habits. That's why we didn't say four habits for each section because that's 32 things to do and even I would have a hard time doing 32 new things every day for the next six months. Or whatever. Okay. So always set yourself up for success. Once you have been able to implement it daily for 21 days, you are ready to start a second habit. Okay. So now from the seven improvement ideas, sorry, from the seven weekly um, habits that you come up with from page five, from this side of the list, okay, the this side over here. We want you to come up with a priority kind of system, okay. You don't have to put them in order of how they are on the book, okay. I now want you to come up with your own. There are eight things, so you still need to come up with eight habits, okay. But now you're putting them in order of which one 
do I want to tackle first? Okay, so the challenge is, I've chosen to do yoga every single day for seven days. And then I'm encouraging you to keep it up for 21 days because that's how they say, that's how long it takes to create a new habit, okay? So if you do it for 20 hours, you would have learned something new, okay? So obviously, he's doing yoga for an hour every day for the next 21 days. He would have mastered that, he would have had it in his system. He can move on to the second thing. So I want you to look at your spiritual habit, your family relationship habit, your intellectual habit, all the eight habits, and now put them in order of which one do I want to do first. If you're feeling brave, you can always try and tackle two, but then to set yourself up for success, okay? To make sure that you don't quit halfway through because it's just too much to do. 